And today, we're talking about a trailer for Children of the Corn. Check it out. Hey, John and crew, this is James from Tennessee. So I was scrolling through YouTube last night, and I saw that a trailer had dropped for a Children of the Corn remake. I personally had no idea that this was coming, and frankly, the release date says it's coming out on March 3rd. Have you guys seen anything about this? And more importantly, have you guys seen the trailer, and what do you think? Hope to hear from you guys on the show. So take care, guys. All right, thanks a lot for calling that in. Yeah, I remember a while ago the talk about a Children of the Corn remake, but I am completely with you. I absolutely forgot all about it. And now this thing's coming out in March, and they've dropped the first trailer for it. Okay. First of all, the original Children of the Corn, when I was way younger, I remember that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. I watched it again maybe about a decade ago, and I it didn't hold up quite as well for me personally, but as a kid, it scared the crap out of me. So I'm start watching this trailer for this new one. And first thing I really liked was the old school voice of God narrator for the trailer. You know, it, it wasn't Don LaFontaine, but it sounded like Don LaFontaine. You know, it, and it, I actually wondered, and I asked everybody else, was that the actual real voiceover from the original movie's trailer? Because it sounded so in line with uh, that, that era, right? And I dug that. It's not, it's all original. It's just kind of an homage to the way the old trailers were made, and that's totally cool. So then they start going through it, and... This trailer's terrible. I thought that I thought the trailer was just awful. I I did like there's a real way. There's something about when something that is supposed to be a representation of innocence or safety, like whether it's a parent figure, a clergy member, or whatever. When you when you take symbols that are supposed to be symbols of safety and turn them bad, that can be very disturbing and horrifying. Or innocence, like the faces of children. That should be terrifying. But to me, watching this trailer, they chose to play it in a way that was not terrifying. It was just kind of schlocky and gimmicky. And I, there's one, one of the shots near the end when the woman's face is just close up to the camera and she's like, burn. I'm like, okay, <laughs> Kang. Uh, I mean, or Kane, I should have said, Kane. Uh, WWE fans will get okay. that. But <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, the job of a trailer is to get you more excited to see it. I was curious about this movie. I am no longer curious about the movie. I, I don't think it was made very well. I think the way they approached this little girl, who probably is playing it exactly the way the director told her to play it, did not come across well to me. Again, there was nothing scary about it. There was nothing... I don't, again, we're just talking about trailer. We have seen many, many bad trailers to fantastic movies, many great trailers to bad movies. We're only talking about the trailer here, but... To me, the trailer just didn't do it. Rob, uh, as somebody who appreciates the original Children of the Corn, what did you think about this new trailer? I thought it, look, <laughs> Kurt Wimmer, who directed this, directed Equilibrium and Ultraviolet. Remember I like Ultraviolet? That. Yep, I do. Uh, he's written a lot of genre films, and he hasn't made, he hasn't directed, I think, since 2006. Kind of like uh, Todd Field and, and Little Children and Tar. So uh, this was listed as a 2020 movie. So it leads me to believe that it was in post-production hell for a while. Yeah, probably. Now, I look, I thought it looked okay. They've obviously gender swapped the main evil child, you know, to made her a, a girl instead of the, the boy. And then, of course, the first film has Malachi, you know, your the, the evil kid. And this, I mean, this looked to me okay. I have a fondness for evil kid movies. But again... It just didn't look great. <laughs> and I, I, I wanted it to be great because look, I, I love the original story. Um, I like I think the first film, Linda Hamilton's in it. Yep. She was in it the same mm -hmm. year she was in. There you go. There's the first. I mean, that kid's a little bit more menacing. That looks that one picture is way scarier oh, than yeah. the entire new trailer is. Yeah, and and the first Children of Corn, when Linda Hamilton's in it the same year as she was in Terminator. It was directed by Fritz Kirsch, who I told you directed my beloved Tough Turf. Um, and I think that this film is kind of a minor classic of the horror genre. This new one, look, I'm hoping, John, after watching this trailer, I was really it's it's not a Stephen King story, but it's a George Romero story, and they work together. But the movie The Crazies, oh, I remember that. That Brett uh, Brett uh, uh, Eisner, I, Brett Eisner, yeah, Michael Eisner's son, directed. I really like that remake. 
And I'm hoping, looking at this, that as much as I like the Crazies remake, maybe the Kurt Wimmer's Children of the Corn remake will be good because it certainly took him a long time to get behind the uh, in the director's chair again. And I I, I hope it's going to be good. But, yeah, didn't look so great. Chris, you had a chance to see this trailer. <laughs> are, are you the one that it went over? No. No, I'm not. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen the original one and Malachi and Isaac were all super, super creepy. Also, some of you have watched the show for a very long time. Know that one of the guys I dated when I met all of his family, I learned they were extras as children in this movie. Oh, wow. That should have been a red flag moment, but I ignored all of them. It was fine. I'm not going to see this. This looks ridiculous. Also, and not even in like a scary way, in, a, in an almost... Not as fun as the bad seed, right? The bad seed at least has this murderous little kid in black and white tap dancing on people's hands to kill him and knock him off docks. This looks so just meh to me. I don't know, but it's just the first trailer. And honestly, I had no idea that this movie was coming out. I know I'm not the target audience either, but... I mean, but the, again, we got to remember, we are just talking about a trailer, right? The movie could be fantastic. We have no idea, yeah. but we are only talking about the trailer and... Yeah, I, I don't think the trailer worked all that well, but maybe to you it did. Question is for you guys. Did you like the trailer for the new remade Children of the Corn? I, I maybe mean, there's some gold in there that we're not uncovering yet. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia